Big Fruit Gavin Syme here, and today we are going to look at using LUTs in Affinity Photo. Now, LUTs are pretty cool. LUTs are essentially kind of like presets, but they use a format that's more of an open standard, like a cube file. There's some different file formats, but they're all considered LUTs. Unlike a preset for Lightroom or a style for Capture One, like the ones that I make, those are specific for those programs. A LUT is a lot more universal and can be used in different applications. For example, video editors use LUTs a lot. I use my Filmist LUTs that we're going to look at today all the time when I edit in DaVinci Resolve. But today we're going to look at using LUTs on images in Affinity Photo, and they work a lot like presets, and the integration is pretty dang good, as you're going to see here. And they're easy to install, and they're easy to manage, and I'm actually overall kind of impressed with how good LUTs work in Affinity Photo. It's pretty exciting and I'm excited to show you guys today, so let's not waste any time. I have Affinity Photo. Let's actually switch over to a split screen view here so you can see what I'm doing, and you can see I have an image loaded up. If I go here over to the adjustments, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see, here is the LUT adjustment section. There's nothing there. There normally are some default LUTs, but I don't use those, so everything's empty right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a new category here from the gear icon, and you can see that it's made a category and call it LUTs2. I'm going to click the gear icon again and rename that to Filmist 1.2, which is the LUT pack we're installing. That way we keep them organized, kind of like presets. Okay, now I'm just going to go to the gear icon again, and we're going to go to Import. And if you go to, let's go to the desktop, here's the unzipped pack of the Filmist LUT pack 1.2, and this is one of my favorite packs. Now I can Control or Command A to select all of these, and I'm just going to open these. And these are standardized LUT cube files, and it's just going to bring all of those into Affinity. Now, it's worth noting that I try to do pretty high quality LUT files, and sometimes when you're importing LUT files into Affinity, it's going to take a minute. But this is the way to do it, because if you actually go in, and some programs only work this way, where you actually have to manually load the LUT file from the hard drive each time, and it's really inefficient. So if you load them this way in Affinity, you can have this category, and they're just gonna show up just like presets. And if you look here, there they are, and you can see that we have all these LUTs loaded up in our category. And if we had more than one category, we could switch around, and it just works. So if I click the Agfaflex, boom, it brings up the LUT control panel here, and that LUT has been loaded on that image. You can see that it's made an adjustment layer, so I can turn it on and off. I can control opacity either here, or I can also con control the opacity down from the little LUT window here. But the cool thing is, I mean, you could duplicate, you can control opacity, you can control uh, blending mode. So there's a lot of things you can actually do with these effects that you can't do in a program like Lightroom because we're dealing with this very layer-based Kind of approach. So I can go through uh, something like Agfaflex Vista, looks really great. These are really nice, clean filmic conversions. And Filmist has a ton of classic films that are just really versatile, as well as concept films that are kind of based on and inspired from those. So it's, it's a really good pack for editing video or photo. And like I said, I edit almost all of my videos in Resolve using Filmist LUTs as well. Okay, let's just switch to another image. And you can see here, we can just browse through the way LUTs work and the in integration in Affinity is really clean because if I just click a LUT, kind of like a preset, it applies. And if I click another one, it just changes. And you can see down here as I click that they are just changing. If I go NOLA 800, Natura 1600, Fuji Pro 400H, this looks pretty good. And I could then, if I wanted to add another one, I could do combinations, I could duplicate it, I could do whatever I wanted here. So if I made another layer and then applied a lot to that, um, I don't actually need that layer. I just wanted to separate so I didn't change the original lot. So now I'm actually stacking one lot on top of another lot, which in this case might be too much, but you get the idea. Let's delete that one with our trash icon right here. Okay, so let's again go to one more image, and here's a wedding shot. And again, just clicking through Cineflex EKM, Ektar 100A, Eternaflex A. I mean, there's there's so many I could use, and the cool thing is I can just browse through 
That one is the Kodachrome 1964, looks really good. And so we've just quickly gone through and tried kind of a bunch of different variables and got some good looks and I like them all. And I have to say that that's, that really is all there is to LUTs in Affinity Photo. They just really work that simple. Make a category for organization, import your LUTs and just go to town and have some fun and you can just use them like presets. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was useful. I know it was short, but what can I say? They're really not hard. Of course, you're in Affinity and so you kind of have that Photoshop-like environment. You can, of course, go in here and you could still continue modifying and that's the beauty too. You've applied a lot, but let's say you wanted some more dynamic range, some more uh, contrast. You could still apply curves or anything you wanted. You could continue building up adjustment layers. You could apply different additional LUTs like I showed you, whatever you want. The sky's the limit. And that's the beauty of that vertical kind of pixel-based layer editing, but still non-destructive because we're working on those adjustment layers and still works a ton like presets because of the way it's implemented in Affinity. Guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And if you you want to pick up the Filmist LUTs, head on over to simeffects.com forward slash Filmist and the LUT pack is right over there for you. Okay, enjoy. Peace. And sorry for my voice today. I got a little bit of a cold going on and it's probably a little weird, but I'm still here. I'm still recording and we'll see you guys soon.